but so is the battle royale going on in the most competitive, beautiful, flashy division in football, and that is the AFC North people. Oh, my God. The Browns, at one point I'm watching the Ravens, Hamilton and I are texting, well, Bengals better watch out. Ravens are going to beat them. They got these... They Ravens looked so good, so good. The Browns somehow pull off a stunning 33-31 win. They were trailing by like 15 points late in the third quarter, and that's why you gotta watch. That's why you gotta love these games. This, these moments are so precious. These quarters, these half of quarter, these two minute drills. It's all so precious because with this result, the Browns and Steelers are each just a half game back of Baltimore for the lead. The Ravens wasted their chance to take over the number one seed in the AFC overall in the process, and once again, the Browns won. Why? Because their defense is so freaking good, guys. They gave up their share to the Ravens' offense, sure. But when the game's on the line and when Zach Wilson's throwing interceptions, the Browns' defense is making plays. They step it up big time. Look, they, uh, sorry, Zach Wilson. The biggest, of course, um, was his Greg Newsom pick six off of Lamar. They cut it to one in the fourth quarter. Miles Garrett, friend of the show, Miles Garrett, did he not bolster his case for DPOI? Did we not say that was going to be the case going into this game when we spoke to one Miles Garrett? I mean, he said he wanted to take down Lamar, and he was true to his word. Key sequence. You're looking at it. Sack and Lamar, back to black plays. Back to back plays, people, driving the Ravens out of field goal. It was all crickets. I was waiting for those Ravens fans to be like, and they did in the beginning of the game, which made sense. And I was like, I'm going to hear it for this, and we're going to, and I'm going to see it on my timeline. Not even me, but just I'm going to. For, for what Miles Garrett was saying and all of that, and I bulletin board material, K, all those things Gronk was saying. I, I don't know. He was all over the field all game long. And I don't know how high the ceiling ultimately is for him or this Browns team because I don't know, like, if you have to rely on your defense so much, I mean, we've seen Super Bowl champion teams do it, so I don't know. They're winning right now, and they've firmly entrenched themselves in the playoff picture as a result. And I believe Taylor Lewan told us that he would take them out of the playoffs. I wonder if his tune changes after yesterday's game, which he's allowed to do, of course. I'm curious about that. And the Ravens, on their side, I mentioned the missed opportunity to take the number one seed in the AFC overall, and that's what this game felt like, one missed chance after another. Two critical picks by Lamar, who we know and we love, and he's in the case for a second MVP, all of that. He took a couple of costly sacks, you saw, that gave the Browns some opportunities they shouldn't have um, had to put some points on the board. The Ravens also had a field goal blocked, which ended up being... Really important, really significant. We look at the final score, guys. They look how close that thing was, 33-31. Um, they have a chance to get right back out there and turn it around. They host the Bengals. Oh, gosh. This is the biggest Thursday night football game of the, of the year. Where is this game? Where is this game? Bengals, Ravens. Baltimore. I want to go. I really want to go to that game. This is the biggest Thursday night football game of the year, and huge, and huge, and huge, and huge. And let's, I guess let's do the wipe and move to the Bengals portion of the program.